Hello and welcome to another episode of A Fresh Perspective here on Heavenward Thinking. Today we're continuing on in Luke chapter 13. We're going to look at verses 6 through 9. So I'll read and we'll get right into this week's discussion. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree, and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year, and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. What can we see in this parable that Jesus is telling in this passage? Yeah, the ones matter, hmm. right? That individuals matter. We, we love this manufacturing idea in church culture that we're just going to run hundreds and thousands of people through a system and they're going to come on. They're all going to be the same. And, and God's like, no, that, that's never been my plan. Uh, it, it's not my plan now, right? <laughs> Again, this is a stern warning, right, in a nice way to you and I, that we don't get to declare people useless, mm. invaluable, right? We don't get to say raka to somebody. We don't get to say you have no value, right, to, to the people around us, right? And again, yes, we want to see fruit. Yep, we want to see fruit. Because you and I both lead small groups and, and do church stuff. Man, it's frustrating when you're year after year after year. And, and you're looking for fruit, right? Mm. But God says, hey, I'll decide <laughs> when to uproot everything and say that you're done. But be careful that just because you haven't seen the fruit that you want to see doesn't mean that there isn't going to be fruit, mm. right? We, we need to be long-suffering uh, with our own fruit but also the fruit of others. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Well, you, you said it is great in this section, this idea of fruit is not always going to come as quickly as we want it. And, and we see that here with this idea, this person who said, cut it down, like let's get rid of it right away. Uh, and yet uh, the instructions here are, leave it alone for one more year, I'll dig around it and fertilize it. Sometimes uh, people... Uh, take a little bit more fertilizing. Sometimes we have to just keep doing what God has called us to do. If you're in a position of any kind of leadership, you probably know this already, but if you're in, in Christian leadership at all, it can be really challenging when we don't see the fruit, as you mentioned, when people aren't advancing the way we think they're supposed to advance or doing the things they're supposed to be doing. Uh, we get frustrated in that, and yet sometimes God says, hold on, don't just discard these people, be patient, don't treat people as valueless, I, they are valuable to me, be patient with them and to see what I can do as we fertilize them a little bit more. And so we have to look at our ministries or the opportunities God's given us. How can we just keep ministering to people and allowing God to fertilize it again? We've, we've talked about before on the show that God's the one who makes things grow. Uh, we can't manufacture that. Ultimately, it's up to him. We just have to be patient and wait upon him. Yeah, again, the whole concept, right, that you've said about God brings the growth, right? We, as whole church ministries and churches in general, we've usurped God's place in the process. Mm -hmm. if, if, if we don't bring the growth, if we don't see the growth, then we, we get rid of things, right? Now, I think there's a there's a warning at the end of this, right? Mm -hmm. Because we love to think that, oh, I got forever and ever and ever, <laughs> right? Can got forever to bring growth. God just always going to love me, love me, love me, love me. And I've said to people repeatedly this week, God will love you all the way to hell, and he will love you while you're in hell. But that doesn't mean he's going to stop you from going, mm -hmm. right? That's super important to wrap your head around. God will love you while you're in hell, but he's not stopping you from going. Mm -hmm. So in this case, there's a warning at the end of this that says, hey, give me one more year. But at the end of that year, if there's no fruit, then tear it down and burn it. Seemingly, God's giving permission to say, like, hey, there's a time when, there's a, when we're done. Mm -hmm. right? So we need to be really careful that we are not giving ourselves and other people an endless supply of things. Because I love what was said here. Hey, this tree is turning or is is taking up the dirt. Mm. Right? There are people around us that are taking up our time, our resources, <laughs> our energy. And God, at some point, may say, no, no more. Mm. I'm not going to give any more of my resources for you to take advantage of it. But again, I don't make that decision. Mm -hmm. God makes that de decision, right? God decides when he says, okay, but there might be some people in our lives that God's like, uproot it, right? Te tear it down, right? Because they're not getting it, mm -hmm. right? 
but but I don't get to decide that. And after you know somebody's been at church for three Sundays, that's not the time to decide <laughs> like, hey, they're not where I want them to be. Absolutely, yeah. It's this, it, this balance, uh, this whole idea of yep, we got to be patient, people. God's going to give them time to grow, and yet God, at some point, like I said, there's going to reach a time where God's going to say, yep. Uh, you've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. It's time to uproot that plant. It's time to use those resources to invest in someone else. But like you mentioned, we have to be super careful as Christians that we allow God to determine the timeline and the timetable and that we don't do it ourselves and jump to conclusions. We have to give that over to God. Yep. Well, we hope that you've been challenged and encouraged by this and you'll join us next time for another episode of A Fresh Perspective here on Heaven We're Thinking.